Hello Scorpio! Welcome to the channel. Let's get started with your reading. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Cups. New love coming in. The cut though says something didn't go right recently. You're feeling a little defeated. The Ten of Swords and the cut of the deck is about new love. So something didn't go well in the recent past. So let's look and see what's happening in your love life. What is happening in the love lives of our beautiful Scorpio friends? Let's see. We have Seven of Pentacles. You're ready to build. You really want something that's new and fresh, but something, you like the familiarity of somebody that you've met before. There's a history even though you don't know them. So since we have also the Ace of Wands with the Seven of Coins, you want to invest in somebody with whom you have great chemistry. So let's see what else, because that Ace of Cups is new love, and it was for both of you. Let's see. So passion is mutual. How does your person view the situation? They're making a very small offer. It's the offer for a date. Nothing more, nothing less. They see it as a foundational move. The Hermit card says that you are feeling very much... You're, you're searching for answers. You're saying, you know, like, what the heck happened? We went from the Ace of Wands to me feeling as though, you know, that page of coins is not an offer that you wanted. You wanted something much more. The Five of Swords says that there's conflict with the person you're dealing with. The Five of Swords says that there's something that happened in the conversation. Swords are conversation, communication that they found exceedingly uncomfortable. How they view the situation going forward. We have the Five of Wands. They they feel as though the relationship could be conflict ridden. So they also see the relationship is one in which there's a lot of ego drive. It also really says that they may want to simply date other people. The mutual energy is that both of you are in this for to, sort of free free-spirited, let's make love, let's do a little dance, let's get down tonight. That is a mutual energy. What is spirit suggesting that you do, Scorpio? What is spirit suggesting that you do in this connection? Well, consider it successful at any level. So if you had a one night stand or a hookup, it would be successful. If you connect more deeply, it would be successful. But spirit is saying, take your wins and move forward in your life. Don't wait. So, you know, the, the, the wheel, the earth is always spinning. And that's what we see is you should not see this as a defeat. You should see, you know, getting out, meeting people as a very positive step into the next phase of your life. This person's no exception, but they could be one of many, okay? So you're on a different journey is what Spirit is recommending. The outcome card, single and ready to mingle. The temperance, let's see, excuse me, XR, Taurus, the king of pentacles. So you're really, you want someone who has something of value. You want someone who shares your value in terms of what they bring to the table, what they want, what their goals are. You don't see yourself as being on the same page, Scorpio. You just don't. You feel as though this relationship may be one that can't go the long term. And, and Spirit is agreeing with you. This is your outcome card, is that you'll walk away not being very uh, satisfied in this relationship. So let's clarify and see what's going on because this is new love that doesn't appear to be working in quite the way that you'd like it to, Scorpio. So if this, um, you know, readings don't resonate with everybody 100% of the time. So what we see is you both invested emotionally at the beginning, probably more than you intended to. Why do we have the seven of coins? That's emotional investment, okay? So let's see, king of wands energy. Um, that is the energy of, you know, both of you being ready to go the distance, both of you wanting something stable, some, something passionate, something fun, but very much both of you also have a lot of pride. Leo energy, it's all about sex and fun and joyfulness forever, put a ring on it forever. 
now the energy that you have right now is one of healing that somehow whatever the passion or the communication was there was something that went sideways i just the four of swords what i'm getting here is i think that one of you is not ready for a relationship scorpio i don't see that as you look at this world card this person that you're dealing with that's coming in is, with this page of coins is very much uh, finishing up a cycle. And that cycle has to end before another one can begin. Spirit is saying it's happening, it's in process. So let's see what Spirit is saying for why you feel like a hermit. And why does this person see you as a hermit? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have. Ace of Cups. You may be alone in this feeling of love that you have. And the Two of Wands says that you need, you're at a crossroads. That you need to pay attention to what's going on. So the Hermit card says that you're, you know, you're trying to find your path forward. And the Two of Wands says you want to know what the path is and you want it to be a fun path. But I would say you caught some feelings here that you didn't anticipate catching. And your person certainly thinks that you are very loving, that you are definitely looking to make a big move in your life. And they, with the Five of Swords energy, look as though they're like, no, nah, I didn't sign up for that. It's that kind of energy. Six of Cups says your person is yearning from, for someone from the past. It could be you or a different time in your relationship. But if it's new love, if this is your first experience. It shows me that you have competition with the Five of Wands. Your person is not going to give you the kind of attention you want. So your person sees themselves as left out in the cold from another. And in the process, it appears that they are doing the same to you. I don't know that you're going to hear from this person right now. It looks like there's silence. And here comes a card flying across. The clarifier for the Knight of Wands is the Three of Pentacles. So both of you have this feeling that until it becomes stable, be, until there is a stated commitment, there is no commitment. Um, but the Knight of Wands energy is also, again, it can be player energy. It just says we're just all about having fun and that's all it is for now. And the Three of Coins says that although both of you expect to see each other again, although both of you may have friends in common or acquaintances in common, right now, you know, you're both in that let's just have fun kind of a, an energy. Why is a world card here for the advice of spirit? Why is a world card here for Scorpio friends? World card, why is it here? You intuitively know this. You intuitively know that this cycle is not, there's nothing to begin right now. You have to finish out, you both have to finish out a cycle. Your person especially has to finish out a cycle that is all about um, still having feelings for someone else with whom it appears they were with for a long time. Maybe up to six years, could be more. Six of Cups, though. They are longing for someone in their heart space from the past. Why else is the World card here? Nine of Cups, just have fun. Scorpio, just have fun. Don't expect anything from this connection other than friendship, camaraderie, fun, perhaps some passion. Okay, why is the King of Pentacles here? clarified by the King of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. So it does look like the person that you're interested in, Scorpio, has King of Pentacles energy. And you really wanted them to invest in you. They thought they were going to invest in you, but there's hesitancy here. The Eight of Cups shows us that one of you is walking away or both of you. Clarified by the Eight of Cups. I, this is crazy. Look at that. This is crazy. Eight of Cups. As an outcome card, both of you are walking away from each other. Both of you want stability with a future partner. Both of you want stability, and you do not think that the two you the two of you do not think that you're a match. You feel you both feel, and this is how I'm reading this, is that no matter how nice or lovely it was, it was not going to be anything more than fun. Okay? 
Oh, Scorpio, let's look and see what the uh, shaman, let's see, I'm going to use this oracle, the shaman's dream oracle for advice about the situation. There's potential here, but it's really, really, it's tenuous. And what I mean by that is if you were to push this person, they would definitely just disappear. The only way I see this really working, and we're going to find out from spirit what the advice is, and we have the queen of the moon oracle. Um, we're going to see what the energy is that will sort of happen over the next six months. So we have action and attraction. Good. I like that cut. So this is the energy of what will happen over the next six months with the relationship. This is an outcome set of cards. I'm going to pull three. So we want three outcome cards, spirit, about this connection. It's such a wee baby of a connection that it's... You know, I, it. hopefully you're not feeling too wounded, Scorpio, because I know you had high hopes. You really did. Look at, let's see, we have pleasure. Okay, so you will have pleasure in the future with this person. I like it. Give us another outcome card. Ooh, look at this, patience. It's a full moon energy. Probably will have pleasure at the full moon with this person. <coughs> Let's see what else we have for an outcome. Again, very pleasure driven. When we look at that patience, we see her holding a red balloon, which is almost like a heart of love. Focus, okay. Focus on transformation, focus on yourself. Uh, what we're seeing here is that this will be pleasurable and it will be transformative, but it also says you need to focus really on the transformation that's going on within you. There are lessons to be learned here in this connection as a message. Let's see what the Shaman's uh, Oracle says for you in terms of advice. I can never quite remember the name. The Shaman's Dream Oracle. Okay. So let's see what the dream oracle, sort of like a dream catcher in the cards, says about this relationship to help you align with the energy of this being more of a, more of just a wonderful time to meet somebody and experience something. Herald of change. Okay, it's a different change for you. It's, it's heralding in a lot of change, this whole journey that you're on. This person is acting as a catalyst in your life to bring changes about. Woodwives is all about adaptability. So this is the advice from, you know, the shamans that you need to make some changes for yourself to find what you want and that you need to be more adaptable or that both of you do. And let's see, one more card. And you'll take it as it resonates, of course is Metox, Repairing the Body, Mind, and Spirit. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Sending you love. Bye-bye. Hope to see you again.